hi guys and welcome back to my channel so um i know i've not done a video for a couple of months i probably started up my youtube um at the wrong time um i do come with really sad news and it has taken me this long to do a video um but fifi i lost i lost fifi i lost fifi um the fight I had to give up um I had to give up the fight for her, unfortunately. This GI status, as I said, is so dangerous. She um she had and she had so many turns with it. It just comes to the point that she she gave up. She and I know she gave up. Um I'll just give you a tiny little thing into what happened on that, that day. Um but, oh God, I don't even like to talk about it because, it's, I mean, I still had a moment the other night when I wanted to cry. Um, and it's been months, but, you know. So she she was obviously going through it again and just got her out of it, she went into it again. And it was like she came down the stairs to tell me that's, that's how I feel, what happened that day. Um... She came down the stairs and she went into the corner and I went to pick her up and she was so lethargic. She was just, she wasn't right. I tried to give her a little bit of medication and she kind of like had the energy to sort of turn her head to say like, no. It was like she was saying, I've had enough. I don't, I don't want any more. And obviously I was in a panic, so I, I, I phoned the vet. They said, get her here straight away. And the worst thing for me at that point was I had COVID. Um, so obviously I had to tell the vets on the phone, so I'm really sorry I've got COVID, they were like, don't worry, it's an emergency, just bring out, let us know when you're outside. So I did, I got outside, and the vets come running to the car, they were absolutely fantastic, they just took her straight in. And then the vet came out, and she's like, hey, I'm so sorry, she's like, but she's not good, she's, her tummy is so sore and so tender, and obviously I told her, like, you know, the issues, and she said, look, she said, I think it, I think it's time to let her go. And do you know what? I, did, I knew. I just knew. I thought I would be a very cruel person to think it's okay to try and get her out of it for her to go into it again. What type of person would I be? So, no, um, I agreed. It was the, the, the right thing to do. Um, and they let me, they said, because I couldn't come into the vets, and I said, is there any chance you can, you know, you can euthanise her in the car? And they were like, we're not allowed to, which is understandable. And they were so good. They they said, look, we we can give her some like um a really strong like pain relief, which is gonna make her pretty. Like she's not gonna know where she is, and and you you know you can have five minutes with her. And I thought, right, okay, I, I'm gonna take take that moment. And they did. They um they 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 came and the most saddest thing of it all. I had hold of her for ages. God, I can feel myself choking up again. Sorry. That's how much it's affected me. <laughs> so um, I had hold of her, and and then I was there for for like you know a good five minutes, you know, just go there. And as they went to come to, to 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 come back to the car, and I went to take her back, she did this thing with her head, and I've never seen her do it before. And she sort of was that on me, and she went like sort of had like the energy to lift, and was going like this. I said to them, it, it frightened me a bit. I was like, what's wrong with her? What, what's she doing? They said, she's looking for you. Like, you, and then I realised then she was trying to turn to see. Oh, it was horrible. It was absolutely horrible. Um, But um, the very strange thing is, Fifi was born on the 2nd of February, 2021. And she died on the 2nd of May, 2022. So it was literally one year, three months. Um, oh my God, like, it's just madness. But I did do something really, really nice. So I got this box um, and it has my other rabbit in it as well. I say my other rabbit, my other rabbit's got fair in it. <laughs> I haven't got rabbits in here. So, um, and it still says Rosie on there. Um, and basically what I did is I kept locks of their hair. Oh, God, I haven't opened this since. 
but in the top here I have um what was uh, to close it sorry it was uh, Fifi's um at the top of her ears jeez it's mad how much animal animal can really take your heart it's been a long time since I've actually got like this I'm sorry um so yeah um I had that and then I'm I've got a nice little photo um that I've kept on my my window uh, in memory of her um so yeah if um this is why I did those videos about GI stasis because it's so scary and it and look what's happened. This can happen from it. Um, some rabbits can be lucky and, and not go through it. But I, my theory is, my theory is, she had an operation, and I feel like after after she had the operation to be um spayed, I feel like what's happened, the, it. it the scar tissue's built up and it's restricted the stomach. That I, I really believe that in my head. Whether I'm right, I'm no vet, I don't know. But it just seemed over time it was just getting worse and worse and worse. Um, and it's not good to put um, rabbits through operations. They're not very good at being um, under anaesthetic as well. And I certainly wouldn't have put her through that. I would never, ever have put her through that. Um, but yeah, that's why I, I I mean I'm probably wrong, but you know, it's just how maybe it's just my mind how I deal with it. But yeah, um that's why I've not been on. Um it's took me a while to get over get over her death basically. Um and then obviously I have her brother Otis and he he was looking everywhere for her. He was looking everywhere for her. I've got proper videos, um, if you head over to my TikTok, um, I've got a lot of videos on there and I've actually put a nice like video of Fifi on there as well. Um, but yeah, that's what, um, that's why I've not been on. Um, yeah, so um, thanks for coming back and I really do appreciate some of the comments that I've had and um, yeah. I hopefully should be back uploading now and getting some of those videos that people have requested up. And um, hopefully, fingers crossed, all goes well and we don't have any, um, ever have any issues like that. And God, I hope nobody ever has to go through that either. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I will be back extremely very, very soon. And there's a promise this time, God forbid nothing happens. <laughs> Bye.